Hey everybody, welcome back to another Sons of the Forest video today. And today I'm giving you guys an update on our base. It is day 35 right now, so it's a perfect time for a quick little update of what we've done. We've got zip lines coming in and out of the base now, so that is super fun. Um, but yeah, uh, we've been messing around with the building more. We got the chainsaws, we farmed up a bunch of logs, and we were messing around more stuff, and we revamped a lot. Um, so here is our main entrance now. It is much more grand. Um, and I redid the bottom porch here, so it's it matches a little better, you know, it's not as random. Um, so yeah, then we also got an entrance up into the second floor. We got some more gardens up here. Got a little birdhouse going on. Um, and we found ways like this to fill the triangles that just looked a little bit more interesting than just... Uh, the logs um, that we were so I, I, I saw uh, a couple of your comments about the how you can use the quarter and half logs but for whatever reason for me they won't snap all the way over and then there's a gap between that beam right there and the log so we so we put a um, what do you call it uh, like two-thirds log or whatever and then we put a full one slanted and then we stuck a half and it kind of makes this like little design there I just personally like that one a little bit better uh, I did try to figure out what you guys were saying I just couldn't quite figure it out so we did something a little bit uh, creative like up here we did this we put like an X and then put like the one across that looks really cool um, we got this like little lookout on top of here now too I guess so that's cool this little flat spot up here um, I'm really happy with how this little expansion on the front here turned out it looks very nice, and it's it was super fun to do. We'll figure all this, figure out some more stuff, um, and then I guess over here not much has changed. We moved some storages out front, and we got more birdhouses here. Um, got our log storages. We have more bone lamps. We're working on getting more of them. Uh, we also have a, a tower with a zip line, and another guard tower over here because why not? Um, but this is what the back of the base looks like now with all, all the gaps, and, um, it's still a little jank, but, uh, it was, it's a little bit, it was a little bit more creative, and, uh, we're gonna keep, we're probably keep messing with it, see if we find anything else that we like better, but, um, that's kind of what I mean with the gap there, like, if that slanted log was not there, um, there'd just be that gap, and no matter what size log I used, it just never fully filled that gap, unless it was, like, a full one that just stuck out the side then, so... Um, I'm hoping we get a more solid way to do that, but it is what it is. Um, also, just so you guys know, it was winter the day before this, and then I slept, and uh, it became spring again, so I'd say this was the perfect time. Uh, it was meant to be to do this video. So if you come in the bottom here, um, we got our, our drying rack here, and our, our uh, you know, little bedroom still. Um... And then in here we got our pantry. This is pretty much just a pantry now. Got all of our fish and all of our like snacks and whatnot just kind of hanging out here. Canned food, oysters. Um, is that her? Okay, I just want to make sure we weren't getting attacked. I wasn't getting attacked by cannibals. Uh, yeah, we got some more oysters and canned food up there. Uh, still can't get the mannequins to work. Uh, let me know down below if you guys have had any luck with the mannequins. So far we have not gotten them to uh, allow us to put armor on them. So that is a little unfortunate. Um, still figuring that out, if that's a bug or it's supposed to be like that. Um, but I did take your guys' advice on the struts, and we put struts at uh, all the tops of the pillars in here, and just took all that middle stuff out. Um, now, I am probably going to be ripping up all the floorboards to make them all go the same way now that we uh, know we can just pick them up. We'll see. If you guys didn't know that, you can just hold C on a um, any building item and it'll let you pick it up. So that's really awesome. Uh, and it, and I was also told that it like this one, it's structurally, uh, in, you know, it needs to be there for the building not to fall down or whatever. So it won't let you pick that up by accident. So you can't pick up anything you absolutely need by accident. So that's just good to know if you didn't. But um, on with the tour. So we did that, uh, I definitely did take that tip from y'all, and it is very nice, and I really appreciate it. And then we also, so we put the, we put these like little lofts up here, um, I'm planning to put like, uh, see if I can put like a rope on them, like on each one so we can climb up there and like maybe put like storage or something, I don't know yet what we're doing with that. 
Um, but to also utilize the space more, I put more of these like little shelves around, and I might even put like another one below on each of them, uh, on each of the pillars here. Uh, we have all of our other shelves, like our stuff for C4 bricks, meds, we've got our rope storage, and then over here we got the like tinfoil blankets and flares, we got the batteries, all, more booze up here, and a bunch of circuitry, so that's really awesome. We got plenty of storage, but um, yeah, like I said, uh, building this game is really, I honestly think it's phenomenal. We've been having a blast with it. Um, I hope they do fix the bugs with the building, uh, like especially like the gates, so we can get rid of this door. Um, some NPCs like Kev, they get bugged around it, and it just doesn't go well. Um, also, he's rocking the tuxedo now, so he's looking pretty spiffy. <laughs> he's got that drip, I guess. Um, and yeah, the zip lines are really awesome in this game. We were you're still able to ship logs on them, so that's also another reason we have two from different directions. So we can get logs from up on both sides of this like little these little hills here. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any more building suggestions, I'll definitely look into them. And uh, I'm hoping within a week or two, uh, or not a week or two, uh, by the end of this week, I'm hoping to have out a video on like a, a more in depth building guide from everything I have figured out so far and the stuff that you guys have taught me. Um, and uh, within a couple of weeks, I'm hoping to have finished up the story and explore a good chunk of the map. And I'm going to make a top three or top five best base locations in Sons of the Forest video. And let me tell you what, this one is probably going to be my number one for this side of the map. I have not found anything else on this side of the map that's been more central or... Uh, there's a lot of other reasons which I can get into when I do make that video, but so far this is definitely by far a really nice place to build. I will leave it on screen for a second. If anyone is looking for a base location still that I haven't liked, uh, uh, unless you're like being a lot of really noisy here or chopping stuff down, not a lot of cannibal activity, so there is, it's pretty laid back, um, most of the time. And yeah, you got fresh water uh, that also doesn't freeze in the winter. This lake, this pond here does not freeze. Um, and you can get lots of fish and food and water here. There's just uh, so many reasons I love this building spot already. And it's definitely one of my favorites. But yeah, let me know you guys enjoyed down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And um, as always, stay safe and have a good one, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.